Hey guys, this is the Ghost with the Ghost Productions. Um, another Backtrack 5 tutorial. Today we're going to put VMware on Backtrack 5. I know you guys have seen Backtrack 5 on VMware in a Windows machine, but now we're going to have uh, VMware on a Backtrack 5 machine, and we're going to be able to put victim machines inside of that uh, virtual player. Anyways, um, first and foremost, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall because I think it's very important. Uh, they have a lot of tutorials out, I should say tutorials, they have a lot of instructions out there on how to do so, but they're very long, drawn out, and pointless when all you have to do is um, type in, I forget, um, I've been playing a lot, <laughs> playing around a lot with VMware. Um, do VMware installer dash L and that brings up the version of it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and copy this and then we're going to do VMware uh, installer dash U and then we're going to do paste and I'm going to go ahead and just for good measure get rid of all these spaces and then hit enter and it's going to bring it up uh, an installation dialog and we want to click no because we don't want to keep anything and click next and it should start um, deconfiguring everything next oh and that's just it guys <laughs> all you do is click ok and it's an uninstalled very easy right well I, I dare you go look up how to uninstall manually <laughs> the packages from uh, for VMware anyways uh, we're gonna go to VMware and this only works on version 4.0.2 so we're going to go to downloads and we're going to use VMware player because it is free no brainer guys um, VMware player we're going to go to major version 4 and then this is 4.0.4 .4. we're going to do 4.0.2 and then we're going to find our architecture which is I three eighty six right here, uh, either thirty two bit or sixty four bit for. Uh, 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 uh. VMware Player. Right here, VMware Player for Linux, sixty four bit or thirty two bit. Mine sixty four, and I'm doing a fresh download of it. Uh, save the file, and then I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here because I don't need it anymore. Uh, uninstallation was successful. We're good. Um. That's about it. Just wait for the download to happen. I'll go ahead and pause the video for that. And once the download's done, I will go ahead and go with the install. Okay, my download's complete, so uh, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. Go to Dolphin File Manager, and we will find it in my downloads folder. I'm going to take and move it into its own folder just for good measure. And you can see that it is the 4.0.2. That's what we need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this to show you that it's not executable. You see the K writes bouncing up and down and saying, hey, uh, we're going to try to open this file. And it opens it, but this is not what you want it to do. So what we're going to do is uh, chmod. Open up a terminal and type in chmod um, plus x, I believe is what it is. And then we're going to drag and drop so we get the file name right. And click enter. And since there's no objection, everything should have went through perfectly and now we can click on it and the installer will start. What we just did is we made it executable. Okay, here's the installer. We agree. Click next. No. Uh, no. Next. And then next again. And We're ready for the install. Um, one thing that you have to do, uh, you can't just install this straight out and expect it to work and I will show you why. Um, so what we're going to have to do is download another package. And to download that package we're going to go to, uh, it's a really long one, um, wget http blah blah blah. I will put this in link for you guys because I know I don't expect you guys to remember it and it has to be exact. So we'll type that in. It's there. We're not going to move this package yet, but you're you're going to want to keep this package on hand just in case something happens. So move it into the VMware folder in your downloads. I like to keep a copy of a lot of things just because things go wrong. Um, the package is downloaded. So the next thing we have to do, I'll show you. We'll do an ls command and you see VMware 802 fix blah 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 tar gz well we gotta unpackage it and to do that we're gonna do a tar um, xp xvfz xv tongue twister xvfz and then the, the uh, targeted file 
we do that and we see that there are two match mod or patch modules and then VMware 3.20 patch. Um, we're going to take in uh, we're going to use this one here. It's going to be patch modules. And then what you can do is put a uh, period forward slash patch modules. And that's going to uh, basically execute this. And we'll go back over here. Installation was successful. I'm going to show you what it does and show you how it doesn't work before I do anything else. And we're going to leave this up right here. Um, I might do a clear command. All right. Go to system. Go to VM player. VMware player. It's going to pop up and it's going to try to do its thing. Um, I'm going to make you sit through it real quick and show you why it won't work. I won't make you do it the second time because it's going to try to uh, update its kernels or the kernel module on the second time around and it's going to fail and just it's bad juju guys. You don't want to deal with it. Notice there's a little uh, exclamation right here. So we've got some issues. That's what It's making me think that it may be to do with loopback. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's probably what it has to do with. All right, so here's the error message, and here's where the uh, the log's going to be at. You can go through and read it if you want to. Click OK, and then if you click Install right now, it'll try to install again. Blah blah blah. Won't happen. Um, what we're going to do is go to this handy dandy patch. Click Enter, and it's going to go through and patch all the little files that need to patch up. It shows you everything it's doing. And once we run this patch, all we have to do is go back, click on VMware, and we're ready to rock and roll. If it ever hurries up and patches it, it may take a minute or two but this is a good sign. <laughs> if for some reason that you have to uninstall and then reinstall, um, you're going to try to, once you uninstall it, you're going to reinstall it and then try to run your patch again. The patch isn't going to work, and it's because the uh, user lib VMware modules source platform, blah, blah, blah. Uh, wherever the directory it is needs to be deleted because the patch is already there. I think it's user lib VMware modules and then dot patch. But anyways, you'll have to delete that before you can uh, reinstall the patch. So we're good. The patch is golden. It gave us a good message. Uh, we're going to go to system, VMware player. We're going to fire it up. And hopefully this time it's going to work like uh, like it should. lagging a little bit because I've got my cam on but as you can see you've got VMware player and uh, you're ready to start firing up some virtual machines and uh, if you guys need to help with that just let me know I'm probably just gonna make a video tutorial on that just for the sake of it um, appreciate you guys watching another video I'm gonna have more out soon um, this is the ghost of the ghost productions so I bid you good day